Hey YouTube friends and family. I'm going to do a real serious video here. Um, I've been wanting to keep things on the light side, but as we look around at our world and what's happening, we have to pay close attention. And it gets heavy. It gets heavy enough that it's affecting a lot of moods. A lot of people are stressing big time. A lot of people are confused. They don't know what to believe and what not to believe. But as truth is, eventually it always surfaces. It always comes out. And if we're paying attention, we'll catch it. We have some people here on YouTube that are real good at catching the truth. They pay attention. They don't just pay attention once in a while. They're on it. They pay attention all the time. And to those people, I send a great big bundle of gratitude. I thank them all. There's one particular video that I'm going to add to my video here. And it's put out by um, Gabor Zolna. He, uh, I come across his videos here a while back, and I'm thankful. I try and watch every one of his videos, and uh, though I've missed a few, he's very much awake. And he put out a video here um, today, September 8th titled, It Might Have Backfired on Obama. Friends, we're living in a world that is so corrupt. And it's hard for us to accept the fact that some of these things are just beyond bizarre. But we can't be duped. We can't continue being duped. We really can't. And Anybody that watches my videos knows that I have no, absolutely no respect for Obama. I had his number before he was ever elected the first term. Didn't trust him, didn't like him. His body language reeked of deception and lies. Granted, he's a smooth talker. He's got that great big smile. And he roped in millions of people roped him in to the point of tears. They were so elated. Some people called him a god. They certainly did. I'll tell you what. In my opinion, if he's a god, he's a god from the dark side. I, uh, I think everybody needs to watch this video. And I think you need to do your own homework. You need to get out there and really research, if you care at all. We cannot forget what happened on 9-11. It did not happen the way we were told. Proof has just piled up and mounted, and yet nobody does anything. All of the scandals that have taken place on Pennsylvania Avenue, Wall Street, IRS, and the most disgusting, in my opinion, Benghazi. And now we have this analyzing that's taking place over Iraq, what happened there, Afghanistan, and today's Syria. I implore each and every one of you, if you want to know what's going on and if you want to hear it in a very short, to the point, straight up front manner, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel that I'm sharing with you. All the information, and again, I'm going to say this, all 
of the information that you may need is down in the show more. You will find links, explanation, anything pertaining to what I'm putting in this video will be down in the show more. Click on the show more. It will open up and go through it. Click the links. Check it out yourself. We uh, we got to wake up. We got to pay attention right now. Right now. And this that I'm going to share with you sickens me. Absolutely sickens me. But it has to be shared. It has to be shared. We have too much to deal with. And there's not a thing we can do about most of it. But this, we can do something about. So please take time and watch. And uh, comments will be open. Anybody that wants to slander. Anybody that wants to name call. Anybody that is just downright nasty. Margaret talked to me last night. And bless her heart. Her and a lot of other people. I got some wonderful, wonderful PMs. And uh, for you nasty people, for you that try and hurt other people, you don't belong on my channel. You will be blocked. My channel is about truth. It's about God. It's about love. It's about unity. And it's about fairness. So, keep that in mind. If you can't be nice, go and play in somebody else's sandbox. I am going to attach the video now. Please subscribe to his channel. The man is, he's working overtime to bring the truth. And he may not always have the answers, just like the rest of us, but he's given us something to think about and to research. We all need to do that. We need to think and we need to research because we know from past experience the truth very, very often is sitting right in front of us. I love you all. Great big hugs and I'll be back. Again, my name's Gabe Zolna. You might have noticed that the administration is going all out, and what they're doing is they're playing all the videos that they have of all those children and the women that were gassed. Yeah, they're constantly playing them. Dan the Frankenstein has them on their website, and the administration uh, felt that it's important to put that information out for the American people to see. But it might have backfired on them. And the reason that is, is before it's news, has an interesting article, and you might want to take a look at it. The title is, Syrian Children Kidnapped by Rebels, Identified as Gas Victims by Obama Administration's Video. Yeah. Apparently, according to this article, um, the uh, rebels raided a village, Latakia is the name of the village, and they kidnapped women and children. And uh, amazingly enough, those women and children that were kidnapped by the rebels, well, they're uh, front and center in the videos that the administration is showing the world. The only way that those children and those women that were kidnapped by the rebels ended up in those videos is because the rebels were the ones that gassed them. I'm just amazed at how blind and stupid this administration must think we all are. Have you ever seen Obama this hell-bent on destroying the leadership of another country when he says that's not really what he wants to do? Obama's wanted to destroy Bashar al-Assad for the last two and a half years. He must have been frustrated like beyond imagination that the rebels 
that he kept funding, equipping, supplying, and training weren't able to beat Bashar al-Assad's forces. So what did he do? He created a sympathy so he could drag the United States in as Al-Qaeda's Air Force. That's what he did. How else could those children and those women that were kidnapped end up being in those videos if they weren't killed by those that kidnapped them? Wake up, America. This is really scary. We've got a psychopath. We've got a murdering psychopath at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue with his idiotic henchmen, yeah, Secretary of State, John Kerry. All he talks about is, do you see the pictures of the children? See the pictures of the women? We can't tolerate this. Well, looks like you overdid it, trying to get sympathy. You got the wrong kind of information relayed back to you, didn't you? It's disgusting.